What's up guys, Ninth Jim here back with another VGC 2020 Pokemon Sword and Shield competitive video. Today we are talking about Talonflame. We will be covering this Pokemon in depth with a build for VGC doubles, singles, speed tiers, and damage calculations. So if that's something that you're into, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. It means a lot to me. Anyway, let's get into it. So Talonflame, Fire Flying. This Pokemon has been amazing in past gens. I think it'll still be good even though it got a huge, huge nerf this format in VGC 2020. 20. Let's go ahead and talk about that. So its ability Gale Wings is amazing. It has the hidden ability Gale Wings that essentially makes all flying type moves have plus one speed priority. This is amazing. However, they nerfed it. They added the stipulation that this only works when your hit points are a max. When you have max HP, full H full HP. So why is this such a big nerf? Well, as you can assume. It's a flying type Pokemon, it's physical attacking, so of course it's probably going to be using Brave Bird, which it, it, of course, has recoil. And then so does Flare Blitz. Both have recoil. So, after turn one, if you attack, or after, you know, you attack or get hit through Protect with a max move, no longer do you have Gale Wings. This sucks because half of the, the reason Gale Wings was so strong was also Roost. Roost is so powerful, giving this Pokemon the ability to priority plus one heal. So big. That's such a huge thing for this Pokemon. Well, we no longer have that. So what do you really do with Gale Wings? Well, we can still use Tailwind, which is good. Uh, very good turn one tailwind plus one speed priority you have priority tailwind on this pokemon the only other pokemon in the game that has that is whimsicott so that's an amazing thing to have well we also have dual wing wing beat slash brave bird so we still have a priority attack but it's just not as powerful because it's only one turn so that's the nerf anyway let's talk about the pokemon itself so fire flying is not the worst not a great uh typing it does give us one four times uh, weakness of rock and then two regular weaknesses of water and electric not too bad but then we also have six resistances and one immunity in the form of ground of course so have some water so not too bad um, overall for for typing um, as far as our stats go our stats are pretty solid as well HP 78 defense 71 special defense 69 nice uh, all, all across the board pretty average as far as stats go nothing really like stands out except its speed stat um, its attack is 81 which is okay special attack 74 so you can really pick um, you know you could go for a special attack or attack it's really either one um, we do have access to moves like overheat and stuff, so you can use special attacking as well. Um, and then speed at 126, which is very, very fast. This Pokemon can be amazingly fast. You don't even have to in, uh, invest in speed a lot of the time. Speaking of, today we are not investing in speed, so let's go ahead and move on to the build itself. So, as far as the build goes, it's pretty self-explanatory, a lot of it. Um, Gale Wing's abilities, even though it's nerfed, it's still a very strong ability. We're using the item Life Orb, even though it kind of conflicts with Gale Wing's. Well, when we do any attack that Life Orb would take damage, we're going to have recoil anyway. So, it doesn't really matter, um, the Life Orb damage. We went for HP instead of speed. Like I was saying, we're very, very fast. And since we have priority on our Tailwind, we're going to Tailwind turn one. And then we don't really need the speed as much anymore. Now, you'll probably still want to invest into attack some or into speed on certain builds. But for this build today, no speed. All right, let's talk about it. So moves, we are running Flare Blitz, Brave Bird, Tailwind, and Protect. Um, oh, let's talk about the item for a little bit more real quick. So Life Orb is what we chose to use. Like I said, anything uses recoil. So you you know, you already uh, stop Gale Wings from activating after you use an attack. So Life Orb kind of just works with that really well. A couple of other options. You could go with Choice Man if you wanted to. Uh, although then you lose Protect mostly. Um, you know, and Tailwind is... Well, then it's really just a Tailwind machine a lot of the time. So I don't really like Choice Band on the on the new wave of Talonflame, but it's still an option. And then we have other berries as well that you could use. Wakan um, or the water berry. What's the water berry called? I don't know. Uh, somebody's going to say it in the comments. I know it. Um, so, yeah, it, you can use one of the weakness berries um, or, uh, you know, you could go for Charty Berry. Um, any of those would work very, very well. Um, and then we also have Citrus or a Pinch Berry. Any of those would work for this Pokemon as well if you already have Life Orb. Um, you know, on your team and you want to use Talonflame. But, uh, I like Life Orb the most. Anyway, moves. So, Flare Blitz, Brave Bird, Tailwind, and Protect. I already talked about the first two a little bit. They're the best physical stab-type moves that we have to, 
uh, available in Talonflame. You can definitely switch them out, however, not not really Flare Blitz, um, unless you want to go for like Overheat, um, which could be a good option if you don't invest into attack. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like weird to have that um, be like mixed. But yeah, you can do it if you want to. Then like if you get you know intimidated like two times and. You're still just swinging really big um, at least once because, you know, it lowers your special attack. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, Flare Blitz, Brave Bird. You can switch Brave Bird for Dual Wing Beat now if you want to. Um, I just don't like it. Brave Bird does offer the Oko on things like Rillaboom, which is very, very big. Um, so does uh, so does Flare Blitz, but it's not plus one speed priority. And, you know, it has Grassy Glide to, to attack into uh, Talonflame. And then, um, you know, it breaks your speed one uh, or plus one priority. So does Fake Out, though. So you know it's fine um anyway yeah yeah i like brave bird i think it's better um you can still go for dual wing beat is, is very good attack like it's definitely worth using um and then tailwind and protect tailwind is of course like i was saying that's half of the reason we use this pokemon um gale wing gale wings gives you plus one speed priority protect uh or tailwind which is very good uh plus one speed priority protect that's nuts um anyway yeah so uh and then we have protect just because i like protect so that's about it for the moves on Talonflame. Let's talk about some moves that you can use instead of those. So we have Dual Wing Beat. We already talked about that. You can use that over Brave Bird. It, hits, it has 40 power and it hits twice. Um, so, you know, it, that could be good. It's really good against things like uh, um, Whimsicott to break its Sash and then kill it. That's really good. Um, that's a really big reason to use Dual Wing, uh, Dual Wing Beat. So that's a cool thing that you can do. Um, and then we also have U-Turn, which is very good. Um, you know, like, uh, it's, it's, it's pretty good. <laughs> you know, it's, that's a good option, especially if you go Choice Man. Um, great. So then we have Steel Wing, which becomes a really good, um, you know, uh, max move, giving us max Steel Spike. You could use this Pokemon potentially as, like, an offensive Dynamax target with, uh, you know, like Steel Wing, Brave Bird, Flare Blitz, Protect. That could be really good as well. Um, a couple of other moves, we have Taunt and Will-O-Wisp and Roost, of course. Roost is not nearly as powerful on this Pokemon anymore. It's still good. Um, I, I feel like there's definitely some sets that will still want to use Roost, but yeah, lost most of its playability. And then uh, Will Wisp is good and Taunt is good. Like they're just good uh, support moves. So especially on such a fast body, you know, they're very solid. All right. Anyway, so that's it for our moves. Let's go ahead and talk about some stats. So uh, I went for 252 in HP and 252 plus into attack. Then put the leftover four into defense. Now. This is a little bit weird. A lot of builds in the past were always like, you know, just 252 attack, 252 speed. I think that's still really good. This Pokemon gets unbelievably fast in speed. Still being outsped by only, I believe, only um, Dragapult and, you know, Choice Scarf Pokemon and all the all the ability boys like Chlorophyll and Swift Swim and stuff like that. But um, naturally, only really outsped by Excadrill. Or, I said Excadrill. By Dragapult. So we hit a very solid speed tier. Why do we go into HP and attack? Well, because we already have, um, you know, plus one speed priority turn one with Tailwind, and then we're faster than everything naturally. So that's kind of the, the thought process behind this. Um, if you don't think, if you think you're just going to get faked out every time that you ever leave this Pokemon, um, you know, or they're going to like, yeah, it's, it's really, if, if you think they're going to like fake out you all the time, um, then go for attack and speed. But I'm ballsy, and I want to risk it all and put it all into HP and attack, and I, that's what I did. Uh, but maybe it's not optimal. But I, I think that attack is definitely good. Like, it, it allows you to Oko things like Rillaboom, which is very good, um, and a couple of other Pokemon. So, yeah, I, th I think it's a good I think it's a good spread. Anyway, let's talk about a couple of synergetic Pokemon real quick before we move on to speed tiers. So first off, we have Rillaboom. This Pokemon is just really strong right now. It's very, very good. It destroys all water Pokemon that threaten this Pokemon. Um, Electric's not that bad against it. You know, it's fine. Um, it offers like a very, very bulky body to just chill alongside Talonflame, um, making things really, uh, you know, worried about that. You, you have Talonflame and Rillaboom against something like some kind of water threat. You just protect up Talonflame and go for the kill on that with Grassy Glide. Just take him out like like nothing. Um, the other Pokemon we have listed here is Gastrodon. Gastrodon is like, it's good. Um, it do, it's not like super synergetic for like any reason other than just type effectiveness being very good. Um, you know, like Talonflame destroys the grass Pokemon that threaten um, the uh, the young Gastrodon. You know, even like things like Rillaboom that have that, uh, that speed priority. You have your own speed priority bla uh, Brave Bird to just take out the uh, Rillaboom and not even like care about it. And then Gastron's just ch big chillin'. Gastron also just destroys all electric Pokemon and water Pokemon that scare Talonflame, even the rock Pokemon. Um, so yeah, 
Gastron just, you know, Talonflame loves his little buddy, uh, Gastron, so that's good. Anyway, that's going to be it for the moveset. Let's go ahead and move on to some speed tiers. So, uh, first off, we are down here at 146 currently. We're on the same speed tier as uh, Gyarados. Not really. Um, you know, we are currently because we're at 146 with uninvested. But Gyarados needs to use positive and max investments to get to that same speed tier. Talonflame is just does it effortlessly. But, um, yeah, that's fine. You know, being at 146 is pretty solid. We do outspeed a couple of really good Pokemon. Things like Braviary, Togekiss, and DD Female. My low tick, um, you know, Sylveon, Jellicent, Gathatel, Conkleder, like a lot of really good mid to low speed Pokemon. We are outspeeding, which is very good. A couple of things that do outspeed us if we don't invest Duraludon, Form Change Rotom, Excadrill, Togedemaru. Uh, this is supposed to be Mimikyu, not Togedemaru, but I forgot to put the Mimikyu thing on top. That's Mimikyu. Um, you know, like uh, Excadrill, um, you know. Venusaur not supplemented by Sun. There's a lot of Pokemon in between that 146 to 195 category um, that if you go into speed and, and hit the 195 as Talonflame max speeds, then you're outspeeding a lot of additional stuff that you don't out outspeed if you un are uninvested, which makes complete sense and I don't really have to talk about it anymore, so we're not gonna. That's gonna be it for the speed tier portion. Let's go ahead and talk about some damage calcs. So first off, Damage Calc, big damage calc, Life Orb, Maximum Invested, Talonflame, Brave Bird, into the most used spread on Picolytics of Rillaboom, 252 HP and 60 defense. We are hitting 105 to 125% of its damage, hitting a guaranteed Oko against Rillaboom with plus one speed category, Talonflame, Brave Bird. Very, very good stuff. My favorite damage calc. This was like, when I saw this, I was like, ooh, got him. Uh, next, let's talk about Talonflame, Brave Bird, into an Urshifu. This is very good as well, hitting 105 to 124, almost an identical calc. Um, we are hitting a guaranteed Oko against that as well, which is very, very good with Brave Bird. We don't even have to max to take all of these, which is very, very good. Next, we have our Talonflame Brave Bird, uh, or Flare Blitz, into, this is actually Dynamaxed, um, and the other one is normal. Whoops, I did that, that wrong. Uh, or did I? This calc is weird. Hold on, hold on. This is weird. I think I did this wrong. Hold on. Excadrill. Uh, Dynamaxed. We have 86 to 102. Oh, no. I'm an I'm just an idiot. Okay, so this is the guaranteed Oko. Um, and there's the Dynamax. I had it right. I'm a, what an idiot. All right. Um, so, Dynamaxed, we have an 18.8% .8 chance to Oko with the same Flare Blitz. But if it's not Dynamaxed, we just kill it. Like, super easily. Guaranteed Oko. Take that boy down. Um, easy stuff. So, I had that right. I don't know why I thought I was mixed up. But, but yeah, yeah. It, it's all good. Um, and then next, we'll talk about some damage calc, some uh, defensive. And then we have one more offense to uh, clean it out on. So, first off, we have um, Excadrill Rock Slide onto our Talonflame. Now, currently, Excadrill is outspeeding us. Uh, and, and, you know, Flare Blitz, we don't get that plus one speed priority. So, if you Tailwind turn one and don't really have any fo follow me or anything... Um, then Excadrill Rock Slide will just um, probably take us out. I mean, it has a uh, 62.5 chance to Oko, um, which is very big. So, yeah, that's pretty bad. Um, and then next, Tyranitar Rock Slide. This shouldn't come as any surprise. It just guaranteed Oko's um, with Rock Slide because it's Stab and it's, it's, it's a very offensive boy. So, yeah, you, you don't want that. Um, and then next, we have Talonflame Brave Bird into an Amoongus um, hitting... 90% chance to two hit KO after Figgy Berry. We're hitting 48 to 57%. We're not going to knock it down to its Figgy Berry, so we're just taking it out. 48 to 57. Um, that's a lot of damage, but, uh, you know, we're going to get spored in that turn that we don't kill it. And uh, and then you can't kill it next turn, and then it switches out and does uh, Amoongus thing. So it's, you know, maybe not the best matchup. When it should, when it on paper looks like it should be the like a completely fine best matchup, but that thing is just so bulky, you know? Um, anyway, that's going to be it for our damage calc. So let's go go ahead and talk about some single spotlight real quick. So first off, um, Gale Wings, Life Orb, very similar set. Flare Blitz, Brave Bird, very similar set. But here's where it changes a little bit. We have Swords Dance on this bad boy as well. Since whenever we're in a good position, just Swords Dance and now you're killing everything. Town Flame is unbelievably fast. One of the fastest Pokemon in singles um, and just in the game in general now. 
um, jolly max speed max attack is doing a lot of good things you swords dance whenever you can and then you attack with uh, with everything and then you use taunt as well to just break wall uh, wall boys that just sit there and like curse up or something you just break them uh, with the taunt make them not be able to play the game so that's always good you make them ta you taunt them and making them not be able to play the game and then you swords dance when they switch and then you're just sweeping um, but a couple like I mean this Pokemon dies pretty hard to, to hazards and stuff And that's something that's it's always been you know fire flying it dies to stealth rock makes sense So you uh, also, actually I think this has default too, but you don't really want to bring this one to uh, a lot of things Also heavy duty boots could be an option too um, now that I think about it anyway that's it for the video thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed if you like talon flame or ninth gym or anything about it or even if you don't like it still like comment and subscribe it means a whole lot to me like subscribe comment go down in the comment sections right now say hey nice vid or if you have anything constructive to say you can say that as well anyway that's gonna be it for the video thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed like comment subscribe join my discord follow me on twitter do all of those things have a great next two months have a great day goodbye